Hello guys, it's sick here. So this little tutorial uh, I'm making because there are like a lot of questions about that on Speed Souls Discord, for example, and some of my friends didn't know about that as well. So maybe it will help someone. So basically what this video about is all about dead zones and how to fix them. And so we go to Dark Souls to check if our dead zones are good or not. So basically what dead zones uh, will help you with is skips. Skips. If you play with the controller but you switch to keyboard while your controller is plugged in, you will have uh, dead zones issue like, every time if you didn't fix them. And how to check it out, you just load your any save file and look at that. As you can see, your character can walk not straight forward at the same time. So it can be... It can be pretty frustrating, but it will be uh, going not straight forward. So it can be go to the right while you're just pressing W. And that's like super common issue. <clears throat> but at the same time... As you can see right now, I can't turn to the left or to the right uh, pretty fast. While I'm still running, I'm just pressing the button. And as you can see on my stamina, it stops for for a little moment each time. So that's not what you want here. That's how it works. And as you can see, I can jump like at all to the side. And as you know, for example, on Fire and Keep Skip, you should just jump to the left. And I can't do that, as you can see. It's just impossible. So what do we do here to fix that? Uh, we go to our... Back to our Steam library. And to manage your controller configuration. So right click here. Manage controller configuration. Uh, here's our gamepad controller. And we choose left stick here. And additional settings. And here we go. Enable that zone. We need to choose calibration here. And then we fix it like this, for example. It's fine for me. It can be personal for each runner. But be sure to fix that uh, and check it out in game if you're if you can do jumps or not. And also like uh check it out a couple of times because it's pretty pretty important for you. Then you just go back, back and done. And launch Dark Souls again. And we'll see if it fixed or not. Our problems. Because that's pretty, pretty important. Just be sure to check it out like a couple of times. Not couple even of times, a couple of, I don't know, 10 times probably. Maybe a bit more. Just, just to check out if you don't have any troubleshooting with your jump to the left or to the right. Or it was walking straight forward as well. So as you can see, we still walk straight forward. And yeah, it works perfectly. Yeah. Instant jump, as you can see. Actually, I actually don't know why it's not jumping sometimes, but whatever. As you can see, it's just turn straight to the left or to the right so how you can uh, just check it out if you're turning straight to the left or to the right that's pretty important you just need to press run and then release uh between uh, w and d and if you uh turn straight it's fine that means your dead zones are good so like that same to the left as you can see, we don't have any trouble shooting with that. And also about jump, so... Jump to the right is fine, but <laughs> probably we don't need it, but still, why not, right? And to the left, the main reason we do that is just jump for FKS, for any skip, and stuff like that. And be sure that your character still goes straight, so you can do that. And it's pretty important, for example, for aerosol skip. So we go back to our library because last but not the least moment you manage your dead zones. But for example, you want to play any other game 
which requires you online Steam. As you can see right now, we're offline mode. And be sure if you're speedrun to be in offline mode because you don't have red invasions. We go online, for example, right? And so then we will go back to online. That's like really important because one of my friends didn't know about that and she had like a lot of issues. But now it's good. And we go, for example, back. We go back to back to offline. And we can check our dead zones if they're firing or not. And boom. And that's a problem. They're not fixed here. And yeah, each time when you go online and back to offline, you need to fix your dead zones again. So I'm pretty, I recommend you, if you found your like perfect settings, uh, for example, for me, they're like this, for example, just screenshot it, like here, for example, just this screenshot, and manage to fix them each time when you go online, offline, okay? That's like super important, or you will have troubleshooting again. So uh, once again, just to be sure, right click on library, manage controller configuration, left stick, and here we go for additional settings, manage to from none to calibration, and here we go if you fix them how much you want, how much you need. Uh, probably that's all, I think. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and hope it helps you and have a nice day.